What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, season four, episodes three and four. I know I'm a little late to you guys. That's why I'm doing three and four in one bunch. I was I was gone. I was doing some IRL stuff. I had a few birthdays, few get-togethers, and a fishing trip I had to do. So I just want to let you guys know why I was gone. Very excited to pick this back up where it left off. We got some infestation from the grass green vine monster. Cassandra's like, oh no, I knew this would happen. So all this is going down. I'm very excited, very nervous. Actually, I'm probably more nervous and excited. I say we hop right on into it, not waste any more time. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut version or early access to the other shows I'm watching as well. Let's hop into this. Don Machi, Season 4, Episode 3. This one is called Parasite. Oh, no. Right where we left off. Luvis and Shigusa. Yeah. This is not good at all. So this evolved monster is even beating on other monsters as well. They eat the gems inside of them. I'm trying to remember the name of the... What was the thing we saw in Sword Oratoria that was down there eating gems as well? And it has Luvis' squad captured. It definitely has sentience. Okay, so yeah, we're getting dark. This is how we're starting. Okay. So we're able to temporarily halt them, cut them, trim them. But yeah, they just regrow in it immediately. It's literally like taking over her. And sucking out their strength. Oh, God. Yeah, talk about a conundrum. You heal them. The more you heal them, the more it just saps out of them growing. Yeah, it's a parasite, yeah. It's literally like leech seed from fucking Pokemon when you think about it. This is rough. We have to do something. Yeah. My first thought is kill the thing. Shouts out, Bell keeping his head together, calm, cool, and collected. Yup. Even though we just saw how hard that is slash was, that's what my first thought would be. Kill the thing, the, you know, the infecting stops. Lily Ruka was just talking about how dependable Bell is, you know, now he feels useless right now. He feels, I feel him. I can agree with that. Even though... Uh, you make fair points, Lily Ruka. I'll change my vote too, to your vote. To going up. Mm, I get what he's saying. But I literally just saw them die, sadly. Oh, that's a lot, too. Yep. Normally, I would be like, okay, we gotta go do this. Dormal's party. Even he's down here? Damn. Is that Mikoto? Yeah. Both sides have valid points, don't get me wrong. Ah. Good to know. <laughs> they all gave their points, they all had their. Uh, Discussion, but Bell's gonna be the final decision. And we're fighting the monster. So do I. I don't like it when you say it like that, because then I don't think so, but I, I'm I'm hoping so. So it just kills, yeah. So obviously the word wouldn't be spread at that point. Makes sense. 
I'm assuming that's Luvis's party. That is such a thing that I would never do in real life. A trail of blood. Let's follow it. Maybe if I was a level 4 adventurer, but not a chance. What the hell? Yep, it is. Is the moss, like, sleeping? That looks like Luvis's squad. Alec got his head squished. Something. E okay, that's rough. So it stationed itself in a spot where it's like has its own built-in alarm system, you know? Yeah. Okay, Lily Ruka with the strategies. All right, we're starting right now. Okay, you guys get out of here. We got our designated roles, our squads. Aisha and Bell, the main two. I love them so much. Oh, it's literally a decoy. This is just fake. I'm so pissed that this thing is... That's Alec. This is horribly fucked up. And here it comes. Bell with the Argonaut already. Come on. Good slice. They're about to go after Lily Ruka and the supports. And while the other ones are attacking, Wolf and Uka, the rest of them handling it. Nice. Fire bolts. That was smart. It used its foot as an implanted vine. Oh my god, this thing's got the battle strategy. Then jumps in the water to put out the fire, taking Bell with him to the depths. Oh, this is horribly bad. Meanwhile, he grabs on, let's go. This thing has some strategies that are beyond monsters. And weren't we told that like old monsters would go into these water basins and like, oh my god. This plan we just had all went to shit. I mean, I thought it might, but I was not expecting Bell to be separated like that. Yeah. Even though he is the goat, he is the leader of our squad, I agree with Aisha. In these kind of situations, you're only going to cost more lives trying to, trying to get him, you know? Yeah. If there's anyone who can survive by himself down there... He's already better than most middle grade level fours. Hell yeah. Damn. I got chills from her saying that because Aisha's one of the goats, but I agree. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Bill. Shouts out, shouts out Aisha giving the words Lily Ruka needed to hear. Shouts out Lily Ruka for taking in those words, you know. Get a temporary power boost just for our squad to need it when they need it, you know? Okay, her gravity spells are fucking amazing. Lily Ruka with the strategies. Okay. Tell me why Daphne was a goat for telling Lily Ruka to be a strategist now. All right, get ready to move on the double. You know, she feels bad, and I feel bad for her, but she's one of the goats. So this is where my man washed up at. Take a little potion, reheal a little bit. Oh! No hesitation. What was that? Has to be a new type of monster. The Iguazu. The fast. And we were just talking about agility and how Bell pretty much outmatches anyone. And if it looks like a blur to him, then this is. Oh my lord. These are the, these are the Iguazu? If Miss Eyes were here, Miss Wallenstein. <laughs> Bell's gonna go on a ham. Yeah, he's taking a bunch of hits in return, but come on. Feel that in the force. That's my man, Bell. Oh, other adventurers. Is this the one they were just talking about? Dormal. Okay. 
Ooh. God damn, my man Bell is clean. I love how Aisha had to make a very specific point about this man's agility. Wait till we hit level like five, six, maybe even seven. Oh, Bell's gonna be the goat. The goat of <laughs> the goat. Oh, mermaid. A very nice looking sentient mermaid. What is this, some black clover shit? What are you about to meet Undine? Normally I'd be so butthurt I have to wait a week, but I'm so glad I waited a week. Now I can watch the next one right now. All right, on to the next episode. This one's called Mermaid, the Girl of Water City. What? What's up with Belle finding the not only female monsters, but the nicest of female monsters down in the, in the dungeons, you know? Like, Weenay was an exception, and now this... Oh, she's timid. I bet you her human interaction has been very limited. My man saw some aquatic titties and got a little, you know. Oh, and she speaks. I'm assuming she's going in for a hug. Yeah, so she is. So she is. She's a Zenos. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, no. Mari. A much easier name than Wiene, I must say. Oh, you had to make yourself lead to lick this? Oh... Okay, this is like some weird kinky shit that I was not expecting. Lick it and swallow. I don't know mermaids were into this kind of shit. Mermaid's blood has special life blood. Sorry, and thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I did not need that. I didn't. Okay, this place is just kind of terrifying in general. As it cuts over to my boy Wealth. I love the magic blades my man creates. My goddess. I know we have actual goddesses in this show, but my goddess, Aisha. Oh, this is like some real deal holy murder shit. That's what I'm saying. This monster is, the strategies are crazy. The way it handled Bell, the way it's handling them. I am nervous as shit. Yep, fire bolt. Makes sense, it being moss, right? Come on, my boy, blacksmith god. Yeah, oh, I love going to the solo shots of him when like, no one else is around to seeing it, like what he does on his own time. Like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? What, are you gonna throw up? What, do you feel sick? Oh. He has a pile of bodies. Just takes the cloth off one of them, the, the cloak. What is he taking a nap? Oh, you know, mermaids are known for their singing. Supposed to have, I've heard stories about pirate ships and other ships on the sea. You know, you're not supposed to look over and stare into the, the waters because a mermaid will take you into the deep abyss. Their voice will be like a trance, you know? Pretty damn good singing, won't lie. You gotta stop doing this, Don Machi. You gotta. My man lives with Hestia for a living, and my man is getting like this. My man has a literal harem full of women. She's gonna come back with like an actual mermaid bra or something, so he can. Like, probably like what? Shells? Clams? Shells! Hey! hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll give us. Uh, I was gonna say, give us an update with them. Yeah, she probably never gets company around here, you know. Yeah, she's just, you know, 
He's very alone. I get it. But we have to we have to beat this thing, you know? Oh hell no. I'm talking about using Haruhime's level boost. Yeah, this is more of a strategy. We're getting pinched by two different races of monsters. Nah, yeah, this is like what's going on? We're getting fucking pickled. We're getting sandwiched. And yep, he's leading the way. I forgot there was an actual term for a wave of monsters, which I see that in dungeon games all the time. You know, like an event where you'll have like a little wave of monsters. So I keep forgetting it's called a pass parade. I love the confidence he has in himself. The fact that we're saying this out loud, we're, we're going to kill it. We're not going to. I don't know. Like, normally when you say the plan, it never happens. So we're only on episode four, right? I'm guessing she used like the vibrations, the sonic reverberations throughout the cave to pinpoint or it just screamed back and we know exactly where it's at. There we go. That way. That's super dope. A mermaid's voice, a mermaid's song. Yeah, like a ginormous AOE attack right here would be broken, but it's our last resort because it's in Wealth's magic swords, you know? So, that with the grimoire? Damn it. I wanted to know about that so much. We never did get to see what she learned from the grimoire. The electric lightning sword or the electric magic sword, lightning sword, whatever. <laughs> Is this the monster that said he'd help us out? Like a great falls whale? No, what the hell? It's like a serpent. So is this its plan? It caused a pass parade on our squad in hopes that as many monsters would die as possible, giving him just a buffet of magic crystals. Is that what I'm getting at? You're getting jumped while your sword's stuck in some crabs. Good help. Who is that from? Oka. Out of respect for how adept you are with that axe. I mean, he did make you the axe. What is this? Indiana fucking Jones? Oh, that's a monster? Oh. He's got to stop it for the squad. Yeah. Someone's got to tank it for the squad, and he's willing to do it. That's why he's the GOAT. Mikoto said me too. Zeka. With the sound, too? Oh, my. I got goosebumps. I love how she waited to the last second. The name was, I was like some samurai shit. Mikoto slash Taka Mikazuki. One of us. One of my favorite fucking combos. Oh, good healing magic, girly. <laughs> Hell yeah. Full blown respect. I respect it because Aisha's an outsider looking in, you know? So for her to change her perspective and her, her opinion on them, I love it. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have this fucker coming after us. Do I protect Marie? Can I kill this thing? What do I do? Man's a straight wall running with this girl. <laughs> Again, I don't get how my man Bell has a literal harem and is getting nervous around Murray, you know. Here we go. This is broken. How do we stop this? They're just coming out of the walls, goddamn. What are you going to do? Aruhime. It's 
It's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that of our holy elf queen. Okay, Miss Haruhime, let's see it. I got literal goosebumps right now. What is this girl about to do? Kokonoe. Oh. Well, I specifically was like, I'm not going to be butthurt at the cliffhanger of the first episode because I have another one to go. And I'm even more butthurt at the second cliffhanger. I got to wait a whole nother week. What's today? Yeah, a week and I'm pretty butthurt. But I must say that fantastic episodes. I'm really liking the introduction to Marie, another one of the Zenos and Zenos, who is also super cool. A plethora of handy, supportful powers. I love just the lore in general in Mermaids. Like I've heard, like I just love the lore in this in general and how it not only pulls from stuff from actual real world mythologies, whether it be gods, this, that, or the other, but it pulls from like video game references, dungeon references, you know, like I, there's so many references and I, I love it. But a mermaid, Marie, super cool. Really like how shy, timid she is, but also extroverted she is because she rarely ever gets to see people. So when she meets someone that she really likes, she wants you to be there forever. She wants to be your best friend. So I, I like that. She's a, she's a very cool gal. Um, Belle is a great addition for her to meet. You know, Belle's the actual goat of the show. And if there's someone that you need help from, Belle will be the one to get it to give it to you. Meanwhile, we have the rest of the squad going ham up there on the levels, dealing with this moss huge and it's past parade and monster party. Shouts out Aisha for sh shouts out Aisha for respecting us and giving us the respect we deserve. But shouts out Lily Ruka and the rest of the squad for having some really good coordination. Like, I should said it well herself. Like, this is not a party that relies on Belle. Like, these guys are dope in their own right. So shouts out to the entire squad. Shouts out Moss Huge for being such an intimidating villain. Like, this thing I'm genuinely scared of. You know you're scared of something not only when it, for its strength, but its intellect as well. Like, it is coming up with very viable strategies. Like, Asterius, I would be scared for his strength. I would never be scared for his traps or, you know strategies but uh when it comes to the moss huge quite a different foe quite the different villain so thoroughly enjoying this hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the Dapper channel check out that patreon for the full uncut versions the early access to the other shows i appreciate y'all don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out